had a problem popping into your mind that made you go. I wonder why that happened. Well, today we are going to talk about how we turn your curious thoughts into reflex questions. For any reflex, we first need a problem statement, something we want to understand or solve. From that, we build our reflex problem. But wait. Can we take just any question or problem for reference? Nope. We need to figure out if it's a feasible question to do research. And to do that, we divide questions into three types. Type 1, Type 2 and Type 3. Let's start with Type 2 questions. These are questions or problems that already have clear answers. For example, if you ask, why is the sky blue? That's a great question. But guess what? Scientists have already figured it out. And you can find the answer in books, on the internet or by asking your teacher. Type 2 questions are super cool. But since the answers are already known, we don't use them for research. Next is type 1 questions. These are big questions. So big that they might be too hard to answer in a school setting. Imagine asking, how do black holes work? Amazing question, right? But it might need advanced tools, loads of money or tons of time to find the answer. So, type 1 questions are fascinating, but they are tricky for us to research right now. Once we grow up and get enough training and facilities, we can pursue these interesting topics. Finally, we have type 3 questions. Type 3 questions don't already have a clear answer and they are not too hard to explore. These are the best for our research. For example, does listening to music help students focus better while studying? And if so, why? You could design an experiment in your classroom, ask your friends or even get help from your teacher or parents to find the answer. Perfect! So remember, take two questions. Already answered, great to learn from, but not for research. Type 1 questions, super interesting, but too difficult for now. Type 3 questions, just right, interesting, unanswered and something we can study. Let's keep asking questions, exploring ideas and choosing the best type 3 questions for research. Who knows, you might even discover something amazing. Happy researching everyone. Bye for now.